This chart shows the population breakdown of Oceano by age and gender, female in red and male in blue. The 10 to 14 year old age group is the largest in Oceano, while the second largest is the 40 to 44 year olds. This indicates that Oceano is home to mostly families. <coughs> These charts show the racial and ethnic composition of Oceano in 2016. Approximately 20% of Oceano's residents identify as a racial minority or non-white, as shown in this portion of the pie chart. However, about 64% of the community identify as Hispanic. This graph shows a comparison of the median household income in Oceano the County of San Luis Obispo, and California as a whole. The median household income in Oceano is lower than the county and the state. This indicates that Oceano can benefit from more economic activities and development opportunities. Now that we've reviewed some of Oceano's demographics, we will be sharing our findings from the first public meeting. Following that, we will discuss emerging directions that will guide the next phase of the planning process. This section is where your participation in today's meeting is key. We will first begin with the following elements. Land use, circulation, housing, and community design. Land use. The land use element designates the general distribution, location, and extent of uses of land for housing, business industry, open space, and other categories of public and private uses. Land use policies dictate where certain activities will be located, the intensity of future development patterns, and they ensure neighboring land uses complement one another. Back in October, the project team took inventory of all land uses in Oceano. This inventory showed that the main land use categories in Oceano include Residential, shown in yellow, comprises almost two-thirds of Oceano's total acreage. Open space, shown in green, comprises almost 14% of Oceano's total acreage and is located mainly on the periphery. Public institutional, shown in blue, accounts for roughly 13% of Oceano's total acreage and includes the treatment plant, the airport, and the elementary school. Commercial, shown in red, and industrial, shown in purple, account for less than 10% of the total acreage within Oceano and are concentrated mainly along Highway 1 and Pier Avenue. In Oceano, there's almost as much vacant space as there is commercial and industrial, meaning there is room for infill development. At our first public meeting in November, the main strengths identified by the community related to land use were the clear separation of industrial uses from surrounding areas, such as the downtown, the quiet residential neighborhoods, and the proximity to the coast. The main obstacles identified were the use of the land in and around the airport, and the presence of vacant and underutilized lots. <clears throat> the community's primary aspirations for the future were more family-friendly spaces, better access to the beach, and an improved town center. With these strengths, barriers, and wishes in mind, we identified a few key directions for Oceano. First, the addition of sidewalks and crosswalks to help secure family-friendly spaces and preserve the small town feel. Second, the redevelopment of land in or around the airport to help improve connections between the downtown and the coast. And third, that any infill development must be complementary to the existing character of the community. Circulation. The circulation element provides an overview of the current conditions of transportation facilities and operations as they relate to the movement of people, goods, and services throughout Oceano. Good circulation is critical because it directly affects social interaction, health, safety, the economic environment, and physical development patterns. 
This makes coordination with the land use element extremely important. The circulation element includes an analysis of existing roads, sidewalks, bicycle facilities, and public transit, as it seeks to improve access and mobility for the community. This map shows the existing Oceano roadway network. Oceano is primarily a traditional grid pattern system comprised of arterials, collectors, and local roads. Arterial roads, such as Highway 1, carry higher volumes of travelers at higher speeds. Collector roads, such as Paso Robles Street and Halcyon Road, provide access from residential areas to arterial roads. Pier Avenue acts as a collector, providing access to the beach and the dunes off Highway 1. Local roads, shown in green, provide access to residential neighborhoods in Oceana. During the land use inventory in October, the planning team observed and recorded the sidewalk conditions of every parcel in Oceana. This map shows that over 40% of parcels in Oceana are either missing sidewalks, as shown in gray, or have sidewalks with good conditions, shown in green. The portions of Oceano with bad sidewalk conditions are heavily concentrated in the residential neighborhoods west of the elementary school. This map shows the existing bikeways in Oceano, categorized by bikeway type. Facilities shown in red are bikeways with defined striping and dedicated spaces for cyclists. Facilities shown in blue are bikeways that require cyclists to share the road with vehicles. And the turquoise lines represent a shared bike route under Caltrans jurisdiction along Highway 1. This is a map of the existing transit service routes in Oceano. The South County Transit, or SoCo Transit, is a branch of San Luis Obispo Regional Transit Authority that serves Oceano in addition to Arroyo Grande, Grover Beach, and Pismo Beach. There are two fixed bus routes that run through Oceano both of which operate on weekdays. SoCo Transit also provides on-demand dial-a-ride services in Oceano to serve disabled populations. Regional rail transportation is provided in San Luis Obispo County by Southern Pacific Railroad under contract with Amtrak. The railroad runs north-south through Oceano with the nearest Amtrak station located half a mile north in Grover Beach. The Oceano Airport is located west of Highway 1 and is primarily used for recreational activities. It is the closest airport to the South County area, while the San Luis Obispo Regional Airport is the closest airport that provides commercial flights. The first community meeting led to the collection of strengths, barriers, and community wishes for circulation. The strengths included transit, uh, transit access to the neighboring areas, the Highway 1 bike path, and the regional access from the railroad. Community members voiced their concerns regarding the limited amount of infrastructure, such as sidewalks, crosswalks, and parking, limited street lighting, and limited access to the beach. Community wishes include increasing sidewalks, crosswalks, and parking, using traffic calming devices to reduce the speed of cars, and installing more street lights. Drawing from this community feedback, the emerging directions for circulation include improved connections and safety for pedestrians, more traffic calming measures, and additional parking options with better parking management. <coughs> 